Okay, again, I'm Aaron Clifford, uh, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of Tinkercad and a little bit of uh, a really fun project called Craft Studio. I'm going to start off with Tinkercad. It's a really fun and easy way to start working with 3D modeling and uh, also to be able to <laughs> also to be able to drop your microphone. There we go. Apparently, a coffee cup is not the best uh, possible uh, way to hold your microphone. Okay, so back to it here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see if I can prop this up slightly better so that it still picks me up. How's that? Good. Okay, much better. So basically Tinkercad lets you create and realize your 3D models and then you can send them off to be printed at a site like Shapeways or there's a number of them. Uh, Tinkercad actually supports multiple different sites. Uh, so you can see in the background here, I've got uh, my Tinkercad account open and uh, I'm just going to switch over here so that you're not staring at me mousing around. There we go. So here you can see that uh, Tinkercad basically just handles things with, uh, they call them things. Uh, I have four things here currently. You can see I've got uh, this uh, two that are private and, one that, and two that are public. I've got my NES cartridge, which is what I'm going to start with. And you'll see you just click on Tinker This and it loads it up. Now this is all web-based, there's no plugins to install. Uh, it's all running very smoothly in the browser. And you can see here I have a 3D representation of a original NES cart. Now I built this so that I could build something to hold the, th the uh, cartridges. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. There you go. So everything in Tinkercad works on this work plane. What you can see here is you've got the work plane, which can be dragged out and put on any surface. And once you drag it to that surface, that's where anything that you drag from the panel over here will be created. So if I wanted to add a box to this, you just drag it over onto the work plane and you can see I've just added it to the front of the cartridge. If I wanted to add something to another point on the cartridge, you can drag the work plane out and just attach it somewhere else. And you can see the exact same motion then attaches it to that portion. You can also scale all of your stuff in here, adjust it this way. Yeah. So it's a very simple, simple way to 3D model, but it's also very, very powerful. You can see here I created this entire cartridge using uh, just these work planes, and then you also can create holes so you can see here, what I've actually dragged out is a hole that if I were to adjust the position of it, I'm just going to take out these other things that I've added here. And we'll drag the work plane back down. You see now, if I group this hole with, the, with this object, and I'm just holding down shift and, and clicking these, it's all very well documented. Uh, and then I group them. You can see it sits there and it chews away at it for a second. There we go. And then it just takes a bite out of my 3D model. And uh, so this entire thing was built this way. I'm going to actually just close this out and return to my previous screen. Now this is a slightly more complex model that I've created. This is actually what I designed to hold the... Uh, let me zoom out a bit here. So if I then group this guy... Ah, hey! And uh, here's Angus. I was wondering where this went. There we go. So you can see here I've got the uh, 3D model up on the screen. I've actually made some revisions to it since uh, I had it printed, but I'm going to switch over here. 
And there you go. So there's uh, the full 3D printed guy. It was really simple and uh, he was designed to do this. There we go. So he can actually be mounted on the wall and hold your uh, original 8-bit or 16-bit cartridges. Uh, it's got a lot of revisions I want to make to the design, but still, pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool. And I'll tell you, it's a very satisfying thing to be able to create your own, your own thing and have it printed and sent to you. So I'm going to switch back to the screen here. There. And you can see here I've added an extra little uh, doodad on his forehead and... Uh, and then I still need, there's a lot of tweaks that need to be done, but that's the great thing about this as well, is uh, you can save and close, and uh, you can make revisions very easily in Tinkercad just by, uh, on the, uh, you can see there's a button here that says Tinker This. You can drop that down and say Duplicate and Tinker, and that lets you create a brand new revision of it, and it also lets people uh, create their own revisions of it if it's public so you can take someone else's model and build upon it and uh, have it printed out that way. So, yeah, so that's a quick introduction to Tinkercad. Uh, I strongly encourage everyone to head out and check it out and see if uh, you can make some fun stuff and uh, yeah just uh, hit me back in the comments uh, either get me on Twitter as Egoant uh, or uh, on Facebook and uh, yeah I'd love to see what you're making.